If you spent way too much time on the internet all the way back in 2023, you may have seen a particularly mind-blowing fact go viral. That sharks are older than Polaris, aka the North Star. And it certainly is mind-blowing, but probably not the way you're thinking. Because while sharks are super old, that viral claim may only be half true. Sharks may, in fact, be older than just part of the North Star. There are a few lines of evidence that point to just how long sharks have existed on Earth. First, there's the record. Fossilized shark teeth and whole skeletons have been found in rocks that date as far back as the Devonian period, over 380 million years ago. And some fossilized scales may be closer to 450 million years old. But scientists can also estimate how long sharks have been around by looking at modern species. By comparing the DNA of modern sharks to their close relatives like rays, they can estimate when the two diverged evolutionarily speaking. And ultimately, the picture all this paints is of a group of animals that is, yes, very, very old. Sharks as a group have survived five mass extinction events, and they're older than dinosaurs, trees, the Rocky Mountains, the Atlantic Ocean, and yes, Polaris, the North Star. Kind of. But to explain what I mean, I need to pivot from paleontology to astronomy. Polaris is a sorta of bright star that hangs in the sky close to the Earth's North Pole as part of the constellation Ursa Minor. Since the Earth wobbles a bit in space, the star that's closest to true North rotates over time. But for the past 500 years or so, it's been Polaris. And despite the title, The North Star, Polaris is actually a trinary system made up of three stars. Two of them, Polaris AA and Polaris AB, are so close together, we didn't confirm they were separate stars until 2006. So they're collectively known as Polaris A. And then there's the third wheel a bit farther away, Polaris B. But it's Polaris AA that really holds the spotlight, or is the spotlight. It's by far the brightest of the lot, and it's what's known as a Cepheid variable star, which means it switches between getting brighter and dimmer like clockwork. But that's not the really weird thing about this system. The weird thing is, is that it seems like the stars in Polaris A and Polaris B are wildly different ages. According to some studies, Polaris A, or at least the Cepheid variable AA, might be around 75 million years old. Meanwhile, Polaris B looks like it's a whopping 2.1 billion years old. One is much younger than the very first sharks, the other is much, much older. But they're supposed to be stellar siblings. If you met three people who all claimed to be sisters, but two of them were toddlers and the other looked like they were pushing 90, you'd have questions. And scientists do too. But they've run into a couple of hiccups. The biggest, of course, is trying to pin down the age of something that's very, very far away, which you may have noticed most stars are. Astronomers have figured out some fancy tricks, though, like how a star's brightness relates to its age. But to figure out how bright a star really is, as opposed to how bright it looks in the night sky, you've got to know exactly how far away it is. And here's where our data on the Polaris trinary comes up short. Our distance measurements to the current North Star are simply not consistent from survey to survey. We think it's about 320 to 520 light years away, but that's a pretty wide range of uncertainty. Part of the problem might be that Polaris A is too darn bright for some of our best telescope tech that's dedicated to calculating stellar distances. For example, the Gaia mission was able to estimate the distance to Polaris B was around 447 light years from us. But Polaris A was too bright for Gaia to study. Of course, you could just assume that the Polaris A stars are basically the same distance from Earth as Polaris B. After all, they're supposed to be part of the same trinary. So that's what one team of astronomers did in their paper published back in 2018. And when they plugged that assumed distance into their models, they got an age of Polaris AA that was 55 to 65 million years old. Unfortunately, another study from 2018 pointed out that if you hold to that assumption, you also get the result that Polaris B is about 30 times older than its Cepheid variable companion. But don't think astronomers haven't tried other techniques to resolve this, even if it's not to prove that sharks are indeed older than the entire North Star trinary. For example, instead of basing it off brightness, one group tried to start with the star's masses based on photographs of how they move around each other. But the age gap has stuck around 
which means astronomers still have several hypotheses to work with. Option 1. Nearly everyone has to have been very wrong for a long time about Polaris A and B being in the same system. While that's technically possible, it appears unlikely given all the coincidences that would have to come together. So option two is the stellar version of a May-December romance. The age gap between Polaris A and B is real, and they really are together. And it's because they started out as two separate systems, and then somehow found each other out in deep space. Sharks would have been around at the time, but it's safe to say they wouldn't have noticed. And then there's option three that at least one of the Polaris stars might not be what they seem. Polaris AA could actually be the remnant of a recent stellar merger, which would make it look a lot brighter and younger than it otherwise should be. Combine that with the uncertain distance from Earth, and you might be able to calculate a new age that's closer to Polaris B, making all of Polaris older than sharks. But on the other hand, Polaris B could be the one faking its brightness. Maybe it's actually another binary we haven't been able to get a good picture of. And that would make the whole system a four-star system instead of a three-star one. Or it could be Polaris B that's the result of two stars smushing together. It's not impossible to test that hypothesis, but that pesky bright variable star next door will make any investigation challenging. And finally, there's option four. There's just something really weird out there that we don't know about yet, or we've gotten something wrong in our knowledge about how stars live and die. Which is simultaneously a boring answer, and the one that's most exciting. Because who doesn't love rewriting the astrophysics textbooks? I personally keep a fine Sharpie on hand at all times for that very purpose. But whether or not any part of the North Star is truly younger than sharks, there are plenty of other stars that definitely are. Many are even visible to the naked eye. Like the brightest star in the night sky, Sirius A, is around 200 million years old. That's only about half as old as sharks. And then there's that infamous, when are you going to explode already, Betelgeuse, which is just 10 million years old. But perhaps the most mind-blowing fact of all is that there are stars forming right now, which means there's at least one out there that's younger than you. Before I leave you to pontificate about all the stars in the universe younger than your whole self, I have to show off our spiffy new merch. Each month for 2024, we're releasing a limited edition pin celebrating some of the awesome things you'll find in outer space. And at least for January, the awesomeness of sharks in relation to the awesome things you'll find in outer space. But now that I think about it, technically the Earth is in outer space. So from a certain point of view, Sharks are too. You can pick up one of these by heading over to dftba.com slash scishow. And from all of us here at SciShow, thanks for watching.